Greetings, I'm Michael with We're All About Pets, and in this video, I'll be sharing my top picks for best rabbit cages and hutches. Now, my wife and I have had a few rabbits over the years, and something we've learned, whether they're indoor, outdoor, free roaming, they really like to have a place that they can call their own. They like that extra feeling of safety and security, and they like a little privacy now and then. Also, giving them a habitat promotes exercise and play, which is very beneficial to their physical and mental health. So when you're shopping for a habitat, there's a few things you wanna keep in mind. One thing is how easy it's gonna be for your rabbit to get in and out on their own, and how easy it's gonna be for you to get in and out on your own, especially when it's cleaning time, which you're gonna have to do once in a while. Also, pay attention to the size and specifically how many rabbits you have and how big they are. So with that in mind, about a year ago, We're All About Pets published an article giving our top five rabbit cages and hutches. And after doing a lot of research, we recently updated that article with some new picks and some new categories. We chose these habitats based on their features, ratings, and reviews. We paid for them with our own money, set them up at home, and let the rabbits try them out. Now, with all of these habitats, I'll be giving you a full review, including my likes and dislikes, and what the rabbits thought. So, without further ado, the categories are best indoor cage, best indoor hutch, best large cage, best outdoor hutch, and best budget habitat. The first category, best indoor cage, and I went with the Paw Hut Four Level Rabbit Cage, which cost about $140. The instructions were just okay, so it took me about 45 minutes to put it together, but you don't need any tools to assemble it. It has four levels to give your rabbits a lot of opportunity to play and exercise, and it has three lockable openings, one on the top and two in the front, and the bottom opening in the front doubles as an access ramp. There's also a removable tray for cleaning, and you can unclip and remove the entire top of the cage if you want to get to the bottom level. Also, the floor panels are removable for additional easy cleaning. Plus, it has lockable wheels that make it easy to move around if you want to give your rabbits a change of scenery once in a while. As for the rabbits, they didn't exactly hate it, but they didn't exactly love it either. They played in it a few times, but mostly seemed kind of indifferent to it. The ramps seem a little narrow, so it might be better suited for smaller rabbits. Plus, there's no privacy space, so you might want to keep that in mind if you're considering this one. Still, I thought it was very well made and had a lot of convenient openings for cleaning and other access. Also, I really like the lockable wheels. The Paw Hut 4-Level Rabbit Cage, my pick for Best Indoor Cage. Next up, Best Indoor Hutch and I chose the Trixie Natura hutch with sloped roof, which cost about $160. The instructions were fine and it took me about an hour to put together and you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to assemble it. It has two levels to give your rabbits room to exercise, play, and explore, an optional privacy area on the upper level, and three lockable front doors on the top and bottom levels. Also, the entire roof can be opened with a lockable hinge, giving you a lot of access for cleaning. There's also a small removable tray on the upper level, and you can also quickly set it up so that you can keep the top and bottom floors separate if you need to. My rabbits really enjoyed it and started exploring it right away. They really seem to like all of the room and the privacy area on the upper level but there's no bottom floor or even a removable tray for the bottom floor, which may or may not make a difference depending on your environment, but it's still something to keep in mind. I thought this hutch was very solidly made with a lot of convenient options, and the rabbits definitely enjoyed it. Also, according to the manufacturer, it is safe to use as an outdoor hutch, but I chose it as my favorite indoor hutch because it looks so nice. I mean, it looks like a really nice piece of furniture rather than just a cage, so, it would probably enhance the look of pretty much anybody's home. The Trixie Natura Hutch with Sloped Roof, my pick for Best Indoor Hutch. Next up, Best Large Cage, and I went with the Living World Deluxe Extra Large Habitat, which cost about $120. You don't need any tools to put it together. The instructions were pretty easy to follow, and it took about 30 to 40 minutes to assemble. 
It's a pretty simple design, but it has a large open space with a gridded floor to give your bunny some extra traction. It has a privacy area with a built-in feeding bowl, a water bottle, an extra removable feeding bowl, and a hay feeder. The two-section roof is really big and gives you a lot of convenient access for cleaning. Plus, you can lock it for added security. There's also a sliding front door, but it's a little small, and to lock it, you have to kind of pinch the metal bars together. But it wasn't that hard to get the hang of it after a few tries. The rabbits really enjoyed it and jumped in right away. They really seemed to like all of the space and the small second level, and the privacy space was big enough even for our larger rabbit. The downside with this one is that there's no removable tray, and again, the front door is a little small and a little tough to lock. But, like I said, the roof is so large that it wasn't hard to get in there for cleaning. I really like this habitat, and so did the bunnies. It's really well made, and its lightweight design makes it very easy for you to move around your home. The Living World Deluxe Extra Large Habitat. My pick for Best Large Cage. Next up, Best Outdoor Hutch, and I chose the Bee by Ijewe Wooden Rabbit Hutch, which cost about $200. Now, there are a lot of parts, and the instructions weren't great, and you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to put it together. But all of the different parts and the hardware are clearly labeled, which was very helpful. It took me about an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes to put this one together. The hutch has two levels with a privacy area on the top level. There are three latchable doors on the front and three removable trays for cleaning. It's designed for outdoor use with A-frame roofs, and it's made with waterproof, non-toxic paint. Even if your rabbits are kept indoors, they like a change of scenery and some fresh air once in a while, and our rabbits had a lot of fun with this hutch. They didn't have any trouble using the ramp, and they really seemed to enjoy the privacy space. My only dislikes was that I had a little trouble following the instructions, and some of the hardware doesn't include pilot holes or markings, so you kind of have to guesstimate how to install some of the pieces. Still, it wasn't that hard to put together. All in all, I really like this hutch, and it seems really solid and durable. Also, since I put it together, we got a little rain, and it stayed mostly dry. You'll get a little water from the sides because the wire mesh leaves the side panels exposed, but there wasn't any leakage from the roofs, and the water collects in the removable trays so it was really easy to remove them and dry them out. Plus, it has a really attractive design and look that would definitely enhance any outdoor space. The Bee by Ijewe Wooden Hutch, my choice for Best Outdoor Hutch. Finally, Best Budget Habitat and I went with the Midwest Homes Deluxe Rabbit Home, which cost about $60. This one doesn't require any tools to put it together. The instructions were okay, and it only took me about 30 or 40 minutes to assemble it. It has a good-sized lockable opening on the top and a really large lockable opening in the front. It also has a gridded floor for extra paw traction, a small privacy space with a built-in feeding bowl, an extra removable feeding bowl, a hay feeder, and a water bottle. It's a little on the small side, but the rabbits didn't seem to mind and they immediately started to explore it and have some fun. The large front opening and low profile made it very easy for them to get in and out, and they really like being able to jump on and off the small second level for some more exercise. I will say that the privacy area is pretty small, so it may not work for larger rabbits, and it doesn't have a removable bottom tray for cleaning, but the large front and top openings make it very easy to get inside when it's time to clean. As I said, it may not be the biggest habitat, but if you're a budget-conscious rabbit owner, this one's definitely going to save you some money. Also, all of those included feeding accessories are going to save you even more money. The Midwest Homes Deluxe Rabbit Home, my pick for best budget habitat. Well, those are my picks for best rabbit cages and hutches. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Click the link in the description to read the full updated written review and check out other pet-related content on we'reallaboutpets.com. And thanks for watching.